$100,000, the SBA requires that the qualified lender collateralize the loan to the maximum extent possible up to the loan amount. Next on the list is the SBA Express Loan. The SBA 7A Express Loan is used for loans of under $350,000, but the turnaround time is within 36 hours. This quick turnaround changes the percentage that the SBA will guarantee to only 50%. This revolving line of credit can be up to seven years with a maturity extension allowed at the time of application. Next on the list is the SBA 504 loan. The SBA 504 loan is used for economic development and can't be used for working capital or inventory. This loan often offers a lower down payment, lower interest rates, and lower fees depending on the economic development project size. SBA Cap Lines Loan. SBA Cap Lines loans are lines of credit for businesses cyclical or short-term needs. They feature four specific lines. Seasonal Cap Line. Borrowers can only use the loan proceeds for seasonal increases of accounts receivable and inventory. Contract Cap Line. This is for the direct labor and material costs of fulfilling assignable contracts revolving or non-revolving. Builder's cap line. This is for the direct labor and material costs of an individual general contractor or builder that constructs, renovates commercial or residential buildings. The building project will be the collateral. And lastly, working capital cap line. This is an asset-based revolving line of credit for businesses that can't meet the credit standards of long-term credit. Repayment is made by converting short-term assets into cash, which is given to the lender. Next on the list is SBA Export Working Capital and Export Express Loans. Export Working Capital Loans are for businesses that can generate export sales and that require additional working capital for these sales. Lenders review and approve applications and submit the request to the U.S. Export Assistance Center location servicing the exporters region. The Export Express program gives exporters and lenders a more efficient way to get financing backed by the SBA for loans and lines of credit of up to $500,000. Each lender has an individual credit decision process and loan documentation. The SBA will respond to the application within 24 hours. Last on the list, and of course, got to make sure we are taking care of our veterans out there, is the SBA Veterans Advantage. If you're a veteran and small business owner, we thank you for your service and hope you take a look at the SBA Veterans Advantage loan, which comes with reduced fees. Eligibility requirements state that the business must be 51% owned by honorably discharged veterans, active duty military service members, active reservists, uh, reservists, and uh, or uh, National Guard members, or a current spouse of any of the previously mentioned groups. Something to keep in mind. This loan can also be extended to the widowed spouse of a service member who died while in service. And below is a quick reference table summarizing all of the types of loans that we just covered in this video so you can actually see kind of how they differ from one another. I think many of you guys out there who are watching this video could benefit from some of these loans depending on your particular situation. Again, if you're a veteran, check out that SBA Veteran Advantage Loan Program. If you are a business that maybe uh, you want to focus on economic development, well, uh, the uh, SBA 7A504 loan is perfect. This loan is used for economic development and can't be used for working capital and rentry. It often has a lower down payment and lower fees. There are different benefits to different programs, and that's why it's important to speak with your uh, lender about the different options and your particular situation to see which one makes the most sense. Now, that said, I would imagine many of you guys will benefit from the first, you know, either the uh, SBA 7A standard loan, the SBA 7A small loan, 
or the SBA 7A Express loan, depending on, again, your particular situation, your needs, how urgent it is. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. Everyone is talking about the EIDL, the PPP, and they're not thinking, they're not aware of some of these other SBA loan programs that are available to help you with your small business. If you thought this video was helpful, definitely like this video. It does help me, helps the YouTube algorithm. Uh, and of course, it shows me that you guys appreciate this type of content, which will encourage me to continue to make it. After you like this video, subscribe to my channel. Hit that notification bell so you can stay up to date on all of my small business videos, all of my videos on personal financial wellness and uh, literacy and dependence and, you know, the whole shebang. The goal is to help you succeed. And we're doing it one video at a time over here. After that, my friends, if you haven't already, leave a comment down below letting me know if you have already benefited from any of these current programs that we're looking at on the screen. Um, on the screen screen or maybe you're someone who you know you saw one of my eidl or ppp videos you applied you got some money you benefited from it in the first round not really going to do it again in the second round or you're thinking about it but maybe you're considering considering one of these loans instead whatever the situation is let us know fill us in give us you know 411 because i think as more people see other small business owners, self-employed entrepreneurs doing something, it will encourage them to do it as well. And again, that's the goal. We want to help encourage, help motivate, and um, help push you in the right direction towards success. So on that note, I need to keep it moving. Got a busy day. I have a gig in about 45 minutes, 40 minutes that I uh, got to head over to and, um, you know, I, I got to keep it moving. I keep grinding over here. So it's not just about these videos here for me. Uh, as much as I enjoy making this content and helping you guys and being a resource, I still got my own bills to be paid. I still got my own little business and whatnot. So I'm going to try to make sure I get this video up online before lunch today here on the East Coast in Boston. And um, then I will, uh, you know, I'm going to quickly get ready for my gig, head out, do that gig, come back, probably you know, may punch out another video or two, have some other projects I got to work on today as well. It is Monday, start of the, another beautiful week. So like I said, we, we staying productive over here, keeping that ball rolling. And um, yeah, the grind never stops. We, we, we focused over here. 2021, baby, let's get it. Let's go. All right, guys. So I'm going to keep it moving on that note, but you already know, I'll see you in the next video. Peace.